Oh, crap! <laughs> Stay back, BB-8. So, we meet again. For the last time. Scared, Potter? You wish. Welcome to another episode of Gums Gizmos where <laughs> we are doing a Star Wars thing, finally! And of course, ironically, or not ironically, I don't know, uh, my Star Wars t-shirt is in the washer, so Hogwarts, we Anyway, today we are going to learn how to make a remote control BB-8 in under $20, in under 20 minutes. No, actually, it'll take a bit longer. It takes a lot of love and care to make in this cutie. Anyway, so you might be saying, Grant, you're such an idiot. Why don't you just go to the store and buy one? To which I respond, that is hurtful. That is very hurtful. And the toy versions of the BB-8 are honestly a little bit crap. I mean, there's the expensive Sphero one, which is really cool and can do a lot of things, but the ones like at Target, that's just... That's, that's crud. It's poop. It's doo-doo. And don't get me wrong, this is also doo-doo. This is crap, but it's cheaper crap. Those ones go for like $15, $60. This just under $20. Maybe you can get it for $15 if you shop at the right places. So without further ado, let's get into making this little cutie right here. Now the main inspiration for this build was I was walking in Hobby Lobby, you know, doing what I do, picking up the ladies. No, actually, I was picking up some felt, N not as manly. But anyway, I saw that they were selling these styrofoam half spheres that would fit together to create a hollow sphere, and I thought that would be so cool if you were making your own BB-8. So I bought that as well as a smaller styrofoam ball, which I cut in half later to make the head, and it was a matter of a simple paint job later, some straws to make an antenna and a painted milk cap to make the eyepiece and you have the aesthetic look done but now you have to get to the innards of it now to make the ball roll I just bought a really really cheap five dollar remote control car uh, now it doesn't have to be anything fancy it can be cheap it just has to work and also it has to be small enough to fit inside it so this one was perfect for my needs but I kid you not the hardest step in this entire process is getting this freaking car out of the box. I mean, why do they package it with so many wires? I have, I have to have the, like, safe breaking equipment to get in this thing. It would be easier to break into Fort Knox than to get this thing out. Where's my stress ball? I need my... <sighs> you know what? I feel better now. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, so after you complete that step to keep the car from flipping over inside the sphere, I built a little cardboard shaft that would serve two purposes. One, it would keep the car upright at all times, and two, it would provide a platform to glue magnets on later, which would hold the head up. But before we get into that, let's see how it rolls. Yes! I would consider that a success, but now moving on to the head of the BB-8. So before we uh, glue any magnets or anything on it, we have to make sure that the head rolls smoothly over the surface. Now because they're both styrofoam, they don't really smoothly go, it's very rough. So to make it more smooth, I decided to make some wheels for it. Now at first I tried to make some cardboard wheels out of some toothpicks and some cardboard, but it was kind of flimsy and it didn't really work. So I went with a much simpler option of getting some Lego wheels and gluing them to the bottom, and it works perfectly. Now for the most expensive part of the build, which is the magnets. Now, by far, this is going to be the most expensive thing you need to buy. You have to get some very strong magnets from, the, uh, again, Hobby Lobby, and glue them onto the bottom of the head. Also, on top of the little cardboard shaft we built before, you have to glue some magnets on there, and make sure that everything works flush within the sphere and on the outside of it. And then, with a little tinkering before you know it, you got yourself a remote control BB-8! Mmm, 
Thank you so much for watching this episode of Gumptious Gizmos. If you like this video, then I like you as a person, and click right here to watch our last episode of Gumptious Gizmos, and click on this little cutie to subscribe. Okay, well, bye.